Good afternoon. I'm gonna show you some of the methods that I uh, propagate the, these tropical plants here. This one is obviously a long one, you could tell. Uh, here's a yellow variety passion fruit. Uh, I've already consumed half of it and here's the seed for contrast. And of course, here is a uh, caimito, also known as a star apple. Uh, here's the seed. We're gonna go and just uh, basically just put them in the uh, potting soil. This particular potting soil, this is designed for acid living uh, plants, which a lot of these tropicals are. They prefer uh, a lot of these depending on the variety. They prefer a pH level of about between five and six and a half ish. So this is right about six. So this is perfect for a lot of these tropicals. Uh, you know, a lot of these cases, they will acclimate to our pH level. That's uh, in the soil in the valley. But, I mean, really all you do is just, you know, consume the fruit. Um, the sooner the better, obviously, as in the, the fresher the better. Just pop it in. There's really no method of placement. You just put it in, just make sure it's nice and covered. And just move on. Now, I realize if I'm getting 100% germination rate, I'm gonna have to either get rid of some or just um, or just uh, s separate them somehow after they've germinated. But it's it's really not an issue for me. I've got a lot of these already. So long on here, yellow passion fruit here, and of course the caimito or the star apple which I've got one back there somewhere that's in the ground. So one's done. Just use some, uh, well, it's been raining, so I've got some rain water. Just soak it thoroughly. Just make sure the potting soil itself is well draining. And with some luck, you should be able to see some seedlings come out in about a month or so. Uh, you know, I've seen people use heating pads, which is great if you have one. Um, but otherwise, you know, I, I find that just with the right soil and the right humidity, a lot of these germinate fairly successfully. Next, I've got some plastic bags here, which I'm gonna, I've got some holes poked in there. Uh, and I'm gonna turn these into a little makeshift greenhouse. So that way it traps in the heat and also creates that uh, humidity that's what we require. So end result, this is what it should look like. It's got some holes there for ventilation. So that way the seeds can breathe and uh, it should germinate nicely. All right, I'm gonna switch you over to the front yard, which is where I've got some uh, seeds actually had germinated and they're doing nicely. So here's the results of some of the seeds that were planted. So this guy is the rambutan that's been in a container for a good month or so. I'm gonna go and lift up the little makeshift greenhouse here. And check it out. That is a rambutan. Again, he's about a month or so, so growing very nicely. And obviously, rambutans, um, they like um, high humidity, so that's why I've got the little uh, makeshift greenhouse here. I mean, right now, the humidity is not so bad. Right now, it's about 50 40 uh, percent. So here's various uh, mangoes that were grown from seeds. Um, these are combinations of either teat or canned mangoes. Not sure which one, but they were 
a pretty large sized mango. So that's uh, why we decided to just propagate them this way. This guy right here is a Guma chill. Again, grown from seeds. Uh, in fact, he actually came from a much smaller container, so we transplanted him just a, a week ago into this slightly larger container. You know, if you look at it, I mean, there's some transplant shock there, but if you look at the overall growth, he's doing nicely. Look at the uh, new growth right there. So, again, either Keith or Kent Mango. It's all growing nicely. Here's the uh, set of more Rambutan uh, trees that we're planning to propagate from seed. Yeah, again, Rambutans, they prefer high humidity, preferably in the 50s, high 50s. So this one, in the next five or six years, should be able to produce us some fruit, uh, provided we continue giving it high humidity. It's, it's gonna live in a greenhouse for the rest of its life. Rambutans, um, you're talking ultra, ultra sensitive. Um, when it reaches 45, 50 degrees, yeah, you'll wanna give it some warm protection. Grimacio, not so much. Uh, 40s or so, that's when it needs protection. Mangoes, because these are grow from seeds, uh, they technically can drive in zone 9b uh, so they should be able to make it um, you know I find that things that are grown from seeds they tend to do better